Hello everybody, it's Dr. Peter D'Amico at Skin Care Fort Worth. This is going to be the first of a series of blogs that we're going to be doing. This was going to be our Botox 101 blog. Just thought it's important to give some people just basic information about Botox. And today we're going to talk about something that you know, I didn't think would come up, but you know, people are not certain sometimes what we mean by when we say what is a unit of Botox. But a unit of Botox is just simply how we measure Botox. Like you would measure any medicine in milligrams or money in dollars or weight in pounds, we measure Botox in units and give different amounts of units of Botox depending on what areas we're treating. Usually it has a lot to do with how much muscle mass. I always tell my patients, you know, Botox is a muscle mass game. The more muscle you have, then the more units you need. So basically, when Botox comes to doctors, it comes in a bottle just like this, or a box like this. This is a hundred units of Botox. It comes from Allergan. And if you open it up, you, know, you get a, a, a vial it looks just like this. And inside this vial is a hundred units of Botox. And if you notice in there, you can't see anything. It looks like a bottle of air because the Botox is actually in a fine, fine crystalline form inside this bottle, just kind of stuck to the sidewalls. So in order to use Botox, the physician or the injector has to mix the Botox, usually with saline, something like this. And everybody uses their own recipe of how much saline they put in there. I use two cc's for every 100 unit vial of Botox for most things. Sometimes we dilute it a little bit more, if, depending on if we're trying to get the Botox to spread at a farther distance, say like if we're doing underarms for people who have sweat problems. But in the face, I use a two cc's of saline and inject it into this vial of Botox and stir it up gently and then now you have a hundred units of Botox in solution. So I use a syringe like this. It's three tenths of a cc. And each little bitty line there is one one hundredth of a cc. In the case of my solution, when I put two cc's in my bottle of Botox, I know that every two one hundredths, or every two lines there, is one unit of Botox. And that's how I know how much to draw up, depending on how much I want to put. So if I want to put five units of Botox in a specific spot on a patient, I'll draw up to the 10 and that will give me five units and if I want to do 15 units then I'll fill up to the whole syringe to 30 and that's 15 units and then as I inject I count off every two little lines and that's one unit. So that's basically what it is. It doesn't mean you're going to get 30 syringe full if you want to get 30 units, or you're not going to get poked 30 times if your doctor is going to give you 30 units of Botox. I suppose if they wanted to give you 30 one unit injections, they could do that, but generally we give anywhere, I usually give usually between two and seven, sometimes more, sometimes less units of Botox per poke. So I thought that might be helpful to explain and we'll do more of these little blog topics in the future. And if you have any particular questions or things you'd like us to talk about, then feel free to contact us on Facebook or Instagram. And we'll try to give you more information. I guess that's all for today. This is Dr. D'Amico saying bye-bye.